All right, guys, look what I have here. We're doing another network upgrade here to the Home Unify network. Um, we're going to add another APAC light, and we're going to use this nano switch. Um, this is a passive 24 volt um, switch. It's got a one PoE in, so it's PoE powered, and it's got four PoE outs. Um, I believe that's what it is. Uh, no, one PoE in and three out. So this is a unmanaged switch model NSW. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use this to power the APAC light, which just only pulls around three watts. This online they're saying is about one and a half watts on this. And we have a PoE camera out in the garage. So we're going to run just two items off of this and then I'm still using only one uh, PoE switch and that is the Unify Switch 860 watt. So uh, this is a good test case and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, stand by as we go through this. So here's the access point that we just put up in the attic. It's right above the living room here so it's going to give enough coverage downstairs and the two access um, the two cameras on the outside of the house, the ring cameras, and it's going to provide enough power through the wall here on the other side of the third level of the house. The Unify um, Nano switch here is having the uplink on uh, port one. The second port, which is, you can see the PoE light on the left is on. However, the right light for the data link light is off. Um, all the PoE is constantly powered on this. However, it's not sending the signal that I need to turn on my uh, PeeWee camera, which is right below us right here. So as I was playing in the basement, couldn't get the Unify switch uh, 60 watt to turn this thing on and power it because it was looking for an active signal, not a passive signal. Um, same thing with, I, I thought this uh, camera that I had downstairs was, um, was going to run on passive as well um, but it seems not to so what we're going to do is we've got another cable right here that fish through the wall for a temporary use um, I'm probably going to take this switch back because I really don't have another use for it um, if I was adding another access point or another unified camera up here that's what I would use it for but for right now um, that's a really good test um, scenario test that we did to see if we could run an access point off of this and a camera via the 60 watt um, uh, PoE switch. So the PoE switch will not power this guy. Um, this switch is actually being powered by the 12 watt PoE injector that came with the access point um, AC light that's in the basement. So lots of good testing here. Uh, if you got any questions about this guy, um, or how I did this setup today, uh, please let me know. But there it is, guys. All right, so I'm in shooting two videos at once here. One specifically on the switch, the other is my network upgrade. Um, so we actually did install the APAC light, and it's running via a PoE injector that it came with um, in the loft of the garage. This switch um, powered the APAC light, and power was powered directly. Um, uh, could not be powered from the the Unify switch. So the Unify switch will not power this because Unify switch is active PoE, which is trying to send a signal to it. it says, "Hey, are you there?" It can't see it, um, and it was not getting that signal back to say, "Yeah, provide power." So the sixty watt. Um, Unify switch did not power this thing on. However, using the Unify uh, PoE injector that the APC light came with, powered this guy perfectly and then threw the power right back to the AC light. So that's what I had um, working for a little bit. It, I played around with it. Um, however, this didn't fit my needs. So we just got the PoE injector on this guy. This guy was removed. And my PoE camera, which is from Aimcrest, is running through 
the Unify 60 watt switch. So we're gonna go over there real quick to show you what the uh, cabinet looks like and then we'll wrap up this video. So before we go in there, I want to show you that I moved, uh, so we put the AC light up in the, the loft and I brought down the AC in wall down here to my office. So now we have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz right down here. It's not going through a floor. Um, this is more um, subjectable to like a room or an office or a bedroom versus trying to supply wireless to a whole floor of a house. Um, these are more of point of service kinds of um, access points. So this is gonna do great down here in my office. And we've got now a AC light up in the loft that will cover the main floor where this original device was. All right, guys, we're back here in the closet. Um, just want to run by this addition to the setup. So up here is the PoE injector that I'm using um, to run the AC light that's in the, uh, the loft above the garage. And then if you see on the lights here, this number eight is going to my cloud key. Um, number seven is going to the office where the AC in wall is. Um, this one is going out to the garage for my uh, Amcrest camera. This one is going to the access point that's right here on the other side of the wall. And then this guy right here is going to that port. So port four is going to the PoE injector, which is then shooting that PoE out to the AC light that's in the loft of the garage. Uh, three is open, and then port two here is going over to this dummy switch, which goes to the Sonos, um, my Mocha injector, and just spare. So that's another um, layer two switch, smart switch by Netgear, and it's just, it's in dummy mode right now, even though there's IP address attached to it. It's just there to supply extra stuff if I need it. Um, so tomorrow I've got to clean up the rat's nest. I've got to shorten a couple cables up here. Um, got to uh, relabel a couple things, but after playing around with it all day, I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, as far as now, the cables aren't running all over the garage, and I've got the um, the new access point in the loft, and now I have an access point down here. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and if you got any questions, you want me to show you anything else, or uh, you know, the next video, give me some uh, give me some ideas.